Welcome to Cardi Fermanagh, welcome to Inniskillen, welcome to the Inniskillen Hotel. This is the launch night of the Richard Britton, the People's Champion DVD, and it's a cinema night here at the Inniskillen Hotel. The place is heaving, huge crowds outside, lorries, motorbikes, the first sitting is in, there's a second sitting fully booked, and maybe pushing to a third sitting. We're here to grab a few interviews, we'll be chatting to different people as the night progresses. Hopefully you'll enjoy the DVD, hopefully you enjoy the interviews. Kathy and myself will be out and about around and we hope you enjoy this. Eddie, as a Fermanagh man, as a motorcycle enthusiast and as a fan of Richard Britton, you must be delighted with a night like tonight. I'm absolutely delighted, Brian. It's great to see such a full house here in the Enniskillen Hotel. It's only a few short years ago since it all started. Uh, the 2012 Enniskillen 100 revival was the 60th anniversary of the old road races. Now we've got a new motorcycle club here, the Enniskillen District Motorcycle Club, uh, up and running. And this is one of their first uh, uh, big events. And it's, it's fantastic that, and it's very appropriate that uh, it's a film show tonight about our own local hero, Richard Britton, uh, who, and, and it just shows uh, 10 years after his death, uh, you know, how many people still remember him fondly, how highly regarded he, he was and is, and, and really the strength of uh, motorcycle sport here in this part of the world. We're sort of starved, really, for, uh, you know, motorbike racing and the like. We have to travel to Kells or to Armoy or, or places like that. But um, the eventual aim of the, of the new club, really, is to re-establish the Inniskillen 100 as, as a road race here in Fermanagh. Now, it's a long-term project, but uh, a, a very good start has been made. Definitely the enthusiasm is there, and when you see the quantity of people in here for a first seeing, for a second seeing, there's more people outside, there's motorbikes, there's lorries. That's right. You know, motorcycle sport is definitely alive and well in Fermanagh. Well, it is alive and well, and have you seen yourself down at San Angelo uh, when uh, the Inniskillen 100 really got going, the Inniskillen 100 revival? For the last couple of years, it's brought uh, actual racing back uh, to, to San Angelo. Uh, there's been the top uh, Irish riders there, and as well as that, we've had the, you know, the parade laps with the, with the old bikes. And, uh, and really, the, the crowds, uh, even though the last year the weather wasn't particularly uh, welcoming, um, there were still a very good crowd and, and it is great and, and so many people uh, uh, come over and say you know that it's, it's great to have uh, bike racing back at San Angelo and to have something for the, the motorcycle fraternity and uh, you know as a, as a council officer I, I was very pleased to be able to get this uh, up and running but uh, of course we you know uh, in the council we get projects and events up and running and then we it's it's up to somebody else to actually to run with them and the new club is certainly uh, uh, really enthusiastic they've got a you know started off with a small core of people uh, but now it's grown and growing all the time uh, they've run a, a very successful event just after Christmas uh, uh, an off-road event uh, and they will be running the Inniskillen 100 revival uh, and then this you know this night here this uh, cinema night uh, really it's it's I think it has uh, it's beyond all expectations. I don't think they really anticipated what sort of a response there would be uh, until recently um, on the likes of Facebook and, and uh, just the whole buzz about, about this event. Mm -hmm. it, it's, it's been fantastic and, and uh, I, I've got a very quick look at the, at the DVD, at a, a wee bit of the DVD mm -hmm. and if, if the rest of it is anything like the, the excerpt or the extract that I've seen, it's, it'll be fantastic. Well, look, can I say thanks very much for chatting to us, Eddie. Uh, well done on the Inniskillen 100 revival. There's a great buzz about it. And uh, hopefully you'll enjoy the rest of the movie. Thank you, Brian. Sinead, you must be very proud of the DVD. Oh, it's absolutely amazing to see what Cotton has done in taking the life of Richard from when he was three up to 34. It's a privilege to sit and watch it. Uh, to be a part of it, it shows sportsman that he was, it shows the people's champion that he was and also for a great brother-in-law to have, he was just, nothing was a problem and we're very, very honoured for it to be in the Inniskillen Hotel tonight where this was one of his favourite places as the old Fort Lodge. It certainly was. Now, in relation to the racing community, for people that aren't familiar with the racing community, it's, it's, a, it's a big family. 
it's amazing when, when, we're, when we're all racing, it used to be a weekend away. Um, we pack up on a Friday and head away and back to Sunday. And when you arrived in the paddock, it just becomes one big family. There is no rivalry. It's, yes, they all liked a wee bit of you know banter out on the track, mm -hmm. but in behind scenes, they'd help one another out. They'd strip on an engine and help one another get out on the track the next day. And it is just a big family in the motor in the motorcycle racing. You were involved directly in the DVD, and Barry was involved directly in the DVD. Uh, how did it feel to be right in the heart of it? It was a privilege to be asked and to remember such a champion as he was. Um, it, it was brilliant. It brought back a lot of memories. A lot of memories were you'd forgot. And when we were looking through photographs and old footage, it was like, oh God, do you remember that day? And it just brought back happy memories, sad memories, mixed emotions, but delighted and privileged that we are, we are today. Barry, we've managed to grab a quick word with you before the viewing of the DVD. What sort of emotions does a night like this stir up for you? Um, mixed emotions. Um, just a bit apprehensive with the whole thing, but seeing a few friendly faces there as come in through the door, starting to settle in. Really looking forward to seeing the, the video and uh, see how it's all come out. And um, It's brilliant the amount of people that has torn up for it. It's, to say it goes to show the popularity of the fella. It's, it's friends to everybody here, knew them all by either nicknames or first names, so yeah, it's going to be a good night. The rumble of people outside, it's a testament to, to what a man he was, the ten years later that he can still fill the room. Yeah, it's absolutely brilliant. We man from Fermanagh, as they would say, but yeah, it's fantastic. Barry, we saw the video, we saw that you spoke very well. How does it feel to be involved directly in the DVD? It's, it's a privilege um, to be asked to be involved in it, to have the opportunity to, 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 to talk on it and even to say a few things that I did say, but um, the memories that I have from even before we even started racing, running about in 125s and all that sort of crack when we were a lot younger, but... That's, that's memories that you know, I have, I'll never forget about them, and it was brilliant. Well, can I say we're very proud of you for being involved. We're very proud of Richard himself, and thanks a million for chatting to us. No problem, mate. Thank you. Rodney, you're the chairman of Inniskillen and District Motorcycle Club Limited. You must be a very proud man tonight. Uh, yes, I am. Uh, this project now has been running for four months. I've been working closely with Colin James. Uh, overwhelmed with just the crowd that has turned up and the distance that they have travelled. We have people from Tipperary, people from Cork. It's just overwhelming and the first house is full. We're getting ready now to get the second house sitting. So, just uh, unreal. I met you up at the press showing off the DVD. When you saw it for the very first time, having put all of this work into it, how did it make you feel? Uh, how did it make me feel? I felt very proud and privileged to have anything to do with it. Just uh, even this evening, Maria gave me the helmet to bring here, and it was one of the proudest moments of my life. So it was. As a Fermanagh man, how does this make you feel that there's a, a brotherhood that has turned up tonight, a family of, of motorcycle enthusiasts? Uh, well, I spend most of the year travelling to the road races, so I know this family and I know how much they're prepared to put into the sport that they love. Road racing is just a breed of people on their own. The work that you've put in now this year for this, I know you're hugely enthusiastic. What are the aims of, I know it's a brand new club, but what are the aims of the club? Uh, well, the club was born out of the Enniskillen 100 revival. Mm -hmm. uh, the aim of the club is to bring, hopefully, a road race back to Fermanagh, Enniskillen. Uh, we also have St Angelo, which I believe is a venue that could be created into something far better with the support of a politicians uh, council I believe there is nothing in this side the west of Ireland there is nothing like it 
people have to travel hundreds of miles to circuits that St Angelo has the capability of matching with a bit of work put in. Uh, we also ran an off-road ex-country event in December, which was also a great success. Uh, there was other people in the club put more work than me into that, so I have to congratulate them for that because it was a great success. They had 186 entries, which was unreal for something in Fermanagh uh, the day after Boxing Day. Well, can I say congratulations on the success of tonight's event. Congratulations on the Inniskillen 100 revival and its success, and indeed congratulations on your appointment. Thank you very much. Jeff, not only did you commentate on Richard down through the years, you were also a personal friend of his. Yes, I, I knew Richard. Um, I actually remember him coming on the scene in the, in the 400 class, early days, and uh, watched him race, and he was normally in front of me. <laughs> and, uh, but it was a, a little while after that, whenever I got to know him, and uh, he was a, I would say, you know, we were good, good mates, good friends. We had a lot of, a lot of good nights at functions like this, and uh, many good memories, many good memories of Richard. He, he was a brilliant fella, always laughing, always smiling. I don't believe, honestly, in all the time, even if he had bad days at racing or didn't have the results or broke down or whatever, he was always in good form. I don't ever remember him at a race meeting in good form, and that's that's rare. Uh, in, in, in today's racing, it seems to be the general message from everybody that he just he just oozed goodness and oozed good humour. And and do you think is that why ten years later we have people queued out as far as the road? It's unbelievable. Um, I've seen them queuing in coming in tonight. I mean, it speaks volumes really. And I think it's really nice that all this is happening because he was he was one of the top men. You know, in, in Irish road racing and of course in the Isle of Man and things like that but what a lot of people don't realise he did Richard Road for sponsors and uh, but everything he put everything in and his family uh, his wife and his parents and were all there every race meeting they were, they were all there it was a real family thing mm -hmm. and he put a lot of his own money back into the sport he worked, he worked every every day as a mechanic and whatever and his whole life just revolved around racing and he had some fantastic results I'm, I'm not always on the best machinery mm -hmm. but at that time uh, with the regal class and all that, that that sort of thing the amount of talent that was in it then was fantastic so his results really really did speak volumes but as for the person he was fantastic he, I had a lot of time for Richard everybody did everybody loved Richard and as I said, you know, the, 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 it all shows now and things like this here with just the esteem that he was held in and uh, it's, br it's brilliant to see it. Hi, I'm here with Stephen Thompson, a very successful motorbike racer and a teammate, former teammate of Richard Britton. Yeah. How are you doing? And uh, can you tell us a wee bit about Richard or any anecdotes or stories you have? Yeah, I suppose I could tell you a few stories about Richard, but maybe so. they're not uh, suitable for camera. Uh, no, we, we, uh, like I said, I was teammates for Richard there uh, for a couple of years with the PGA O'Kane. Mm -hmm. It was very good and sponsored both of us, and he sponsored Richard for a great bit of his career. You know, he's very, very successful uh, sponsor, but... Um, no, me and Richard, there's, I suppose there's a few times when Mackay that we had and Martin Finnegan was about, he was a good friend. Of, there was the three of us really yeah. and uh, we used to run about in Mackay and used to go to the Irish bar quite a bit after the race, you know. And Compared to one or two stories about this, but continue. <laughs> no, the crack was always good in there, like I say, but uh, we always nicked you know, Richard, we called him Reggie. I think he had a cousin called Reggie, but he raced okay. uh, rally cars or something, but Richard would always act as if he was in a rally car. Um, <laughs> the crack was always good with that, but I always called Richard Reggie, so he was my Reggie kind of um, thing. <laughs> you know? So now you've had to take obviously, a wee bit of time out from racing yourself um, and the patience maybe isn't just great at the minute, is it, trying to get back? No, no, it's um, <laughs> like, I suppose from last May I've had a hospital for, I was in for three months in five different hospitals and then I come back out and then I was back in for another eight or ten days again with another operation, so it seems to be operation after operation, so, but... Uh, 
like nerve damage is very slow mm-hmm. and slow healing and 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 with a racer healing and patience doesn't go together I would not imagine so no. <laughs> but anyway it's in the speed and everything all you do around tracks fast furious so sitting and waiting for the body to recover must not be easy but I'm sure yeah. you will get there and uh, plenty of time to nights off like this to enjoy <laughs> yeah. fantastic DVD and catch up I'm sure with some friends and some colleagues it's not often I suppose you would all get together no definitely like not this. no it's uh, and you get to see a lot of Richard's achievements here too which is brings back a lot of good memories and mm-hmm. you know he's, he was a very he's a good friend and a good guy exactly we'll leave it at that thank okay. you very much for talking no problem and we at hope all, now it will not be too long to be seeing you back in the track not a problem okay <laughs> I'm here with uh, Kenny Lochran from the Cookstown Club. He's the treasurer and self-professed general dog's body. Kenny, how are you doing? How are you? Good. Now, just, uh, you're heavily involved in your club with the Enniskillen 100 Revival. Can you tell me a wee bit about that? Yeah, uh, we've been involved now over this past uh, number of years. Mm-hmm. Um, it started off with, I think, in the first year they run the Revival up here. Uh, through the council and one thing or another was involved, as you know. And uh, they had a local uh, a promoter in to try and uh, run the event. Now the promoter uh, sort of messed them up a bit, mm-hmm. and uh, financially and every other way. And uh, then they they went to the Ulster Centre to see would any local clubs be interested in taking this on or helping out. So you were there. they came to us and uh, we. Uh, got involved and we've gone over the last few years and this past couple of years has been uh, an Ulster, uh, an Irish uh, short circuit championship event run in Mahat as well, uh, along with the Parade Lab boys and things have went very well and uh, it's been very successful, good crowds have turned up and it's something new for Enniskin and St Andrew. Indeed it is. Um, Enniskin Mahat Revival is a fantastic advertisement for Fermanagh and you have a wee story about Richard the man yeah. we're all here about yeah. tonight, don't First you? First year I was involved with St Angelo, uh, Richard uh, came and helped out in a big way. Uh, in between uh, the parade laps, he did some laps on his bike, and uh, the people that were there really enjoyed seeing Richard been there, and it was an extra thing to see. But uh, what I was going to say to you was that Richard uh, was a fantastic uh, benefit to us as a worker. Not only he was a good rider, but he was a fantastic worker, and he was him and myself for the last two to leave the circuit that day, helping to clean up the place and uh, drive forward lifts and anything. So he was there, and he, he was he was very very good. Yes, it seems to resonate from everyone you speak to tonight. Just how kind-hearted and willing to help everybody, and as someone who's a star like himself, to be the last to leave, I'm sure. Had plenty other people to see and places to be, but he yeah, was there. I would know this, and I've seen it myself. Uh, and I've been involved in motorcycle racing for a number of years now in Cookstown, and uh, I've seen it myself when, as you say, a top star like himself at that time uh, disappear. Mm-hmm. But uh, there's not many top stars would be seen leaving the track the very last month leaving the track. You know, so. uh, I really appreciate what Richard has done, and I, I like him as a person, and uh, he's a big loss to the sport. Definitely, I'm sure. Thank you very much, Kenny, for that. And take care. Brian, would you tell us a few things uh, just about what you know about Richard, a wee bit of history? I first met Richard through the family, really, because uh, my in laws and Richard's family lived back to back, really, in Inniskillen. And my working life was trucking, but I used to be backwards and forwards over to Inniskillen before I moved here permanently. And uh, I've lived here since 1999. And I first met Richard back end of the 90s, 98, 99. We used to go down into Charlie's and have a pint and a bag of crisps and always have a laugh. And, you know, he's always been such an unassuming guy, which... To me, I've been a bike fan all my life, I've followed bikes all my life, I've been a biker, and to me it used to be like talking to a rock star, but he was just such an unassuming guy, and uh, a little story, I used to be backwards and forwards from Manchester, we lived in Manchester, and I'd come over on my bike, and uh, I'd throw it down to Richard, and he'd put a service on it, and uh, he'd, he'd bring the bike back, and Willie would follow him up in the van, and I'd say, what do I owe you, Richard? 
and he'd say, oh, give me 25 quid and that'll do a like, you know. And I used to drop the odd case of wine off for him every now and then when I was trucking. Yeah, but wine, yeah, like, yeah, like. but fantastic. And uh, there he was. He'd have a smile on his face all the time, all the time. And what can you say about the guy? And what a tribute to the guy tonight. Ten years on. Ten years on. I'm still close to the family. I still know all the family. I see him all the time. And that was a fantastic night. And what more can you say? That's, I'm delighted to hear that. We're delighted to hear you enjoyed the night. And thank you very much for chatting to us. And uh, enjoy the rest of your evening. Super. Thank you. All right. What a brilliant night we've had here at the Inniskillen Hotel. A packed house and definitely motorcycle sport is alive and well here in Fermanagh. It certainly is. So from Brian Gallagher. And from Cathy McGovern. Hopefully you'll enjoy the DVD and don't forget you can get them from... From Inniskillen100revival.com